welcome to the first lecture in series of lectures on reasoning and aptitude we will have more than 250 lectures in this series so it is a long journey and we will start with basic definitions first we will try to understand quantitative aptitude with one example then data interpretation and finally logical reasoning so we will start with quantitative aptitude it is nothing but maths all the mathematical questions are grouped in this section so whenever you have a problem in front of you and you need to use your mathematical skills then that question will be grouped in the section we call as QA QA is the abbreviation for quantitative aptitude now we will see one example on quantitative aptitude we have to find out total number of zeros at the end of 10 factorial we have to find out total number of zeros at the end of 10 factorial so let's see how to do this we have one trick for this 10 factorial can be written as 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7 6 5 4 3 2 and finally 1 whenever you have to find out total number of zeros at the end you have to look for 5 I can write 10 as 2 multiplied by 5 so I have 1 5 here and uh, in this I have another 5 so in total I'm having 2 5's and 2 5's will give us 2 zeros at the end because whenever you multiply 5 with any even number at the ones place you have 0 you have 2 5's and when you multiply them with even number you are going to get 2 zeros at the end of 10 factorial so this is how you can calculate the number of zeros and in this we have to use our mathematical skills that's why this question comes under the section of quantitative aptitude now we will move to the next part of this presentation that is data interpretation in data interpretation we have to understand the data and make sense out of it it means understanding the data and making sense out of it you will be given a pie chart some line graph or simple graph whatever is given to you you have to understand the data and you have to make sense out of it we will see one example I will take one pie chart for this purpose this is the pie chart for human body composition I have divided this pie chart into 10 equal parts and 4 by 10 4 by 10 is for hormones enzymes and proteins 3 by 10 is for muscles 2 by 10 is for bones and finally 1 by 10 is for skin let me write this down this is for muscles this is for proteins enzymes etc this is for bones and this one is for skin now we have to find out how much how much of human body is neither made of bone or skin so this is what we have to find this is very simple problem first we have to find out how much human body is made of skin and bone so we are going to find bone plus skin bone is 2 by 10 and skin is 1 by 10 so solving this we have 3 by 10 or 30 percent so 30 percent of human body is made of skin and bone but we want to calculate the rest part so 100 minus 30 is 70 percent 70 percent of human body is not made of skin or bone we can directly calculate this by finding out the muscles plus proteins 3 by 10 plus 4 by 10 and this is equal to 7 by 10 or 70 percent so we can directly find out the part of body which is made of muscles and proteins now we will move to logical reasoning and this is the last part of this presentation logical reasoning means thinking that is logical we will try to understand logical reasoning by one example 
I have a series I have a series 2 and then I have 5 10 17 26 and we have to find out the next number this is the series given to us and we have to find out the next number let's see how to do this this is the first place this is the second third fourth and fifth we have to find out the number on sixth place if I take the square of 1 I will have 1 the square of 2 is 4 square of 3 is 9 4 will give us 16 5 will give us 25 and 6 will give us 36 this is what we have when we take the square of this places now I want to add 1 to each of these values and adding 1 will give me 2 here I will have 5 10 17 26 and 37 and you can see that we have the series 2 5 10 17 26 and according to this the number here should be 37 so 37 is the answer this is how we have to solve the logical reasoning and this is the non verbal problem of the logical reasoning we can have verbal problem like ax by and then we have to find out the next character we can also divide logical reasoning into five different types the first type is deductive reasoning the second type is inductive reasoning the third type is abductive reasoning fourth type is reductive reasoning and fifth type is fallacious reasoning now let's see what we have to do in each of these types in deductive reasoning we have to find out what is true we have to find out what is true and in inductive reasoning we have to find out what is observably true what is observably true in third type abductive reasoning we have to find out what is most likely true what is most likely true in fourth type reductive reasoning we have to find out what is not true and in final type fallacious reasoning we have to find out what we think is true what we think is true so this is all for this presentation if you have any doubt regarding any part of this presentation you may ask in the comment section from the next presentation we will start number system so see you in the next presentation